I'll show you from the front. Looking good. Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey. Today I'm going to be using the remains of our Christmas turkey and I'm going to use it to put on top of my pizza and to do that I'm going to be um, adding curry with it so I'm making a turkey curry pizza with mozzarella. I love cheese on my curry so adding turkey curry to pizza for me is like I just love it. I can't wait to making it in the pro because I love using the pro especially in the winter because it's so cold. I don't know if you can see my breath. Yeah, and the wind is blowing up a bit as well. So it's, we've had lots of storms, a lot of storms, and they've um, stopped me from making pizza because it's just been too windy and rainy. The temperature doesn't stop me from making pizza. It's completely the wind and the rain. I've never known so many storms come through. I'm also gonna be making try and do healthy, uh, non-carby, sizzling dishes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I can't wait. Hopefully the weather will improve. So, I hope you enjoy my turkey curry pizza. Let's get on with it and make this pizza. Okay, so I've made the pizza, my turkey curry pizza from the leftovers of my Christmas turkey. And now I am going to check the stone temperature. Oh, I love that, that sight. It's a bit high at the middle. But I'm gonna just like let it cool down and as soon as I open the door's cooling down, I think that's pretty perfect. Um, I'll just bring it forward slightly. I won't put it up there because it's a lot. <laughs> so I'll keep it kind of like around that bit there and it should be okay. Um, so I'm just gonna get my long handled peel ready and put this in I just love a log burning down there right then let's get this in what is it yeah it's heavy because I got so much turkey on it Though I really love cooking with the door off, I know it does better to cook with the door on. The, um, I'm just moving it, not because of the crust, uh, I just don't want to burn the base. So I know I had it at a high temperature there. It looks okay. Looking good. So I'm using frozen dough again. I love using frozen dough, it's so much easier. Sometimes I don't know when I'm gonna be able to cook next because of the weather. So just bringing out the dough from the freezer the night before. I leave it in a, in a room at room temperature the night before. And, um, and then I just 
kind of put it in my airing cupboard which is quite warm about 21 degrees in there and then I bring it up to that warmer temperature just before I use it and then it's ready to go just checking that needs a bit more of a cook there so I've tried to make this pizza quite thin. I think it does look quite thin compared to my other pizzas. There's a lot of dust going on there. Right. Let's check. Let's see. So this is the last of my turkey curry, um, the last of my turkey actually, I don't have any more turkey left. In the UK we have a tendency to make lots of different dishes with our turkey after Christmas day, so on Boxing Day we we'll might make a pie with some ham um, and turkey and then the day after that we make loads of curry bubbling squeak with the vegetables all sorts of things this is done give that bit a try. Mm, mm, mm. I love the way the curry sauce has seeped into my mozzarella cheese. It's really nice. I had a good stone-based cook. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I like the look of it and it tastes really good. It's a really nice, nice crusty base. And I actually made this pizza quite thin for me. I know I said this in the cook, but I'll say it again. This is frozen dough. I kind of like freeze anything, even if it's good or bad, because somehow freezing dough makes it always better. Freeze it, it comes out all right. Look at that base, I love that base. I just love the way this turkey has just merged in with the tomatoes. I've also got a new camera, so I hope this comes out okay because I'm doing manual settings on the, the lighting. So I hope this isn't too dark and you can actually hear me. Very nice. 